Okay, so if you've tried to see if your Windows 10 computer is compatible with Windows 11 and unfortunately it failed, uh, the answer might be a Raspberry Pi. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig and uh, I'm running it from an M.2 drive and uh, it seems to be doing everything. It's pretty much gone through all the installation. I've signed in and done everything else and it's been pretty seamless so far. If you want to know how to do it, there you go, and it's just popped up. I'll switch over to screen capture. Okay, so let's have a look. So if I tap anywhere on the screen, that gets rid of the uh, like the start menu. You can see the start menu's moved all over to the center. Uh, if I click on the App Store, let's see what happens there. Uh, I need to check, uh, yeah, so we've got internet. Uh, this has got an ethernet connection plugged in. It looks like the sound is working, but I need to test that with something. Uh, I guess I can test that with YouTube. I wonder if I do control Alt delete what happens. Uh, here we go, so task manager, that's the same. You can see the store has come up. If I do more details, so this is pretty much the same as Windows 10 this device bit. Not found. Ready to pair. That's my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I don't want it on Bluetooth. I'm going to have it on audio. auxiliary and see if the audio comes through. So I haven't overclocked this at the moment, so 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, I have selected all the RAM, so this is using uh, up to 8 giga RAM. And you can see the CPU usage is pretty high at the moment, but it has only just been started up. So we're going to start up. You can see Cortana's disabled OneDrive. Uh, I'm going to disable that. Uh, security notifications I'll leave on. So let's close that down. I'll do a more detailed video of this because I've already done a video today, um, but I wanted to get it out there that Windows 11 is available and is working. Well, let's try the web browser. Let's minimize that and uh, call up the web browser. You can see there's a little dot next to the app that's there. Does look very nice. So what does the, the uh, notification center look like? Oh, so this is telling me about the new Edge. There's my notification. We can expand that. And you can see we've got various settings like the night light projecting to another screen. I'm guessing that probably works. I won't go into so much detail. Oh, there you go. Um, so that detects the video card doesn't support it. That's all that is, right? So complete setup. Confirm. And let's just do a search for YouTube, Lee PSP video HDR. It all feels pretty snappy. So accept, oh, we had a little noise from my speaker. Hopefully it's not gonna to be too loud if it, if it plays at all. Only recently the Windows 10, oh, it's got a little snick there every now and then. Oh yeah. So that was the three and a half mil jack on my speaker that was working. I'm just gonna mute that and I'm gonna try a slightly higher resolution video. Uh, so this goes right up to 4K. Uh, obviously 4K is not going to be very good. Let's try 720 first, full screen, and let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's a bit laggy. Not terrible, but uh, could definitely be better. The Raspberry Pi isn't famed for its video playback. Let's we might as well go for 1080 and see what happens. Obviously it looks a lot better. Let's put my speaker back on. And I'll unmute it. Yeah, well the audio's working all right. It's, considering this is, I haven't even restarted this because uh, I was a bit fearful that if I tried to restart it, I might lose it all. Uh, because I haven't done any testing on this at all. So what have we got here, task view. Oh yeah, so that shows all your open apps. What do the folders look like? Actually, I saw this in someone else's video. It looked quite nice, yeah. So I'll do a more detailed video on it, but so audio is working, ethernet is working. It pretty much seems to be working the same as Windows 10 was working uh, on the Raspberry Pi at this stage, which has come a long way over time. So if I wanted to search for an app, if I press the Windows key uh, and then I start typing, so if I do mail, you can see it comes up. But if I tried to do something like wallpaper, maybe. I wonder if you can change the wallpaper because you can't normally uh, on these test mode images. So it's thinking about it. 
uh, oh yeah, you go, you need to activate Windows. Okay, so we look at my channel. Uh, the way to install this is basically uh, exactly the same as the Windows 10 install, but instead of the Windows 10 version, you are downloading the Windows 11 version. You need a Windows computer to be able to do this, uh, to be able to download it. So if I type in WR Pi 4 and then click on downloads. So when we're on this page, uh, we need to scroll down and you see this is the one I use, UUP.RG. And uh, interestingly, there are, uh, I was surprised to see the ARM version there straight away. So if I click on it, uh, so we're looking for Windows Insider version. We're looking for Windows 11 ARM 64. I did the language as English. Uh, the addition, I did professional this time, I usually use home, and uh, download type was ISO. What that does is uh, it downloads a file and then you're basically just copying exactly as you do it in the Windows 10 video that I just showed and uh, you can have Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now if you use a Pi 400 it may be different, I need to test it on the Pi 400, um, but uh, you might not get audio, but then Bluetooth usually works. So if I click on Bluetooth on here, let's just see if Bluetooth looks like it's working. So Bluetooth, see if it detects anything, couldn't connect. Right, so you may need a, uh, a Bluetooth dongle to be able to do it. Anyway, I'll look into this further, but I just wanted to get it out there that Windows 11 works and actually works pretty well. I mean, this is the first time you're seeing it, the first time I'm seeing it. So I want to get this video edited. Uh, I'll do a more detailed video on it, and as I say, I'll do a tutorial on it as well. And I'll also try it on the Pi 400, but uh, I haven't got a lot of time today, and I want to get this video out today because I thought a lot of people would want to try it. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.